Welcome to Mampara of the Day. And today's Mampara of the Day is none other than Basic Education Minister Angie Moseka. What has Angie Moseka done in order to be able to achieve this Mampara of the Day award status? Well, simply, she's announced the matric results for 2016 and is absolutely raving about the fact the pass rate has moved from 74% up to 76.2% and that the pass rate for mathematics has also increased by 2%. So 2% more people managed to pass mathematics in 2016 compared to 2015. Does that mean anything? Absolutely not. It means fuck all. Simply because two reasons. Number one, the pass rate the pass mark for mathematics has been decreased. So therefore, if you decrease the pass mark, ipso facto, more people will be able to pass at a lower pass mark. Secondly, and this counts across all of the metric results, there was a shift of the bell curve. So in other words, all the marks that people achieved in, the, uh, in their metric were increased by shifting the bell curve to uh, across to the or should I say across to the right as you, as you'll be seeing it so the, the bell curve was shifted acro shifted across to the right and as a result of that all the metric marks were increased and these artificially inflated metric marks resulted in a 2% increase in the metric pass rate bearing in mind as well that the vast majority of each and every single subject on a metric certificate has zero value note zero value whatsoever when it comes to the employment market the working market the gaining a meaningful a livelihood for yourself market out there be it in South Africa or anywhere in the world so we are one step away at the moment from having a metric certificate that effectively means that you've got a participation medal in other words you attended school for X number of years, you had X percentage of attendance, therefore you get your pit, your participation medal, there you go. Whether the fact that you can read and write the most basic of all education is completely beside the point. Because when it comes to a populist socialist government, a thinking population is the biggest threat that you have to your power. So therefore it is incumbent upon the government that South Africa has at the moment to ensure that the dumbing down of the education system continues so that you can have a compliant electorate. The fact that the um, under 25 year old unemployment rate in South Africa is sitting at 75% is completely beside the point simply because you finish the trick with zero skills that you can take forward into the labor market of South Africa or the labor market of any country across the world. It's incumbent upon you, yourself, to be able to upskill yourself in order to make yourself marketable. Very soon, your matric certificate will not even be able to score you a position as a bag packer in pick and pay or flipping burgers in McDonald's. It'll, that even will be too high a skill level for what your matric certificate will qualify you for. That's my take on the matter. Post your comments, questions, criticisms in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and share this video. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. You can see down there as well. And last but by no means least, until the two of us meet again, try not to get yourselves lost or killed, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>